Hi everyone! Tom was here, back at it with another card video. My wife was at Walmart the other day, and um, I told her to go check for cards um, because I know they had some clearance packs um, that they were offering there. And then she uh, she FaceTimed me because she knows nothing about cards, and she was like, well, they have a few of these blaster boxes here. They have, you know, 20, 2023, 2024 hoops, and they have WWE Chronicles. And I said, well, pick them up, find out what the price is for them, because if you know Walmart, you know that the card area is just there's stuff all over the place so it's just kind of a big mess um but i um she's like oh i'll check that and then she threw them in the cart and then she couldn't find a price checker thing and then she started throwing the things on the belt and then she said by the time i realized what was going on you know she had already bagged the stuff so happy father's day <laughs> so there you go a a uh, thought off Father's Day gift of cards. Uh, she got me the NBA hoops, which will be in another video. But she did get the WWE Chronicles here. Um, look for nine parallels per box on average. It's 42 cards in total. From what I have seen from people that have opened these videos, I saw at least three numbered cards uh, that you get out of here. A couple people had an auto. Um, so there's some interesting things. Now, the cool thing about Chronicles, um, which unlike baseball and football chronicles is that this chronicles for wwe is actually a mix-up of nine different panini brands i think you can get like strata out of here luminance um a uh, whole bunch xr whole bunch of different styles which generally with with football definitely in basketball and and maybe baseball i'm not sure um you can get um you know they all have their individual product but with wwe all the product is in this one box. So, we're going to open this up, and we're going to see what's going on. See what we get on Tom Was Here. Hey, how do you like this? I'm Daddy's Rail, and you're watching Tom Was Here. <laughs> okay, I stated 42 cards in here. Um, she only got one box. We can't really do a box battle on this particular one just because you know, that's how it works, unfortunately. Um, you know, we have that. Uh, the boy is here. He's actually playing Xbox 360 in the basement with me. He's keeping me company while I'm going through these. Um, but we got uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs, seven cards per pack. Well, let's get into it and see what we get here. Any notable hits? Okay. That's right, they have them put on their side. So you have Liv Morgan on the, um, was it Illumination, something like that? Is that what it's called? Um, she's doing fantastic work right now with the Dom storyline. It's probably one of the best storylines in WWE. <laughs> uh, you got a Sami Zayn. We got a Bruno San Martino. Boy said he would throw him into the garbage can at one point. A uh, Voices of the Ring Booker T. A Rhea Ripley mommy. That's going to be an interesting storyline when she comes back with the Dom thing. You know Roxanne Perez, and a Chronicles The Miz. So nothing super exciting with the first pack. I mean the Bruno card's probably going to be a keeper for me, and I like the Live one as well. Um, we're looking for numbers and such. So, Alba Fire on the Limited. You got Gunther on the Origins. I think he just returned. Oh, there's a keeper for me. Look at him. You can see him back there. It's kind of blurred out, but you can see that autograph print back there. Razor Ramon. That was my guy when I was when I was a kid. It's still my guy. Let's be fair here. Dirty Dom. My favorite heel in the business. <laughs> Listen, I hated this kid. I'll be honest, I hated this kid when he was with Ray. I was like, wow, this kid's really getting jobs because he uh, he is, you know, his dad's thing. And he just, you know, he, he wasn't, I, I was like, he's not ready. He's not ready for all this. But as a heel, he's fantastic. I, uh, I, I'm happy to be wrong on this. Uh, Chronicles Braun Breaker. A Lola Vice rookie card. I'm not familiar with her, but I don't watch a ton of NXT. And a Wesley. 
like I said, not too familiar with NXT, but cool to get a Dirty Dom in that pack and a Razor. Um, a, few, a few other people on there that, that um, said some of these will be keepers for me, um, just because I don't have a ton of WWE cards. And I was curious about them, you know, to get into, you know, some of them. Haven't seen a, a short print yet, unless I look past it, but we'll go back around. Oh, that's a cool one. It's the Charlotte Flair on the XR. It's a Ravishing Rick Rude on the Classics. Oh, there you go. There's the first numbered one. 73 of 199. Seth freaking Rollins on the Panini Honors. That's awesome. That will be the first one on the uh, thing there. You got an RVD. Piper Niven on the Chronicles. Gargano on the Chronicles. And Channing Stacks Lorenzo, whoever that is. That's a rookie card as well. Um, so, didn't realize you could get actual rookie cards in here. Or at least I didn't remember that. Oh, that's cool. I got the... So, these were a product that I remember opening when I was a kid. Was the Action Pack. They're like a, a foil stamped card. So, it almost looks like they're like jetting out from the card. I remember some of these back in the day. Um, but, yeah, the Miz on the Action Pack. Um, you know what? I'll put the Miz up there. I know people... You can love or hate The Miz. I always appreciated The Miz's work. Um, but, um, like the action packed. Chronicles, Becky Lynch. That's like a red or orange foil, I guess you could say. Not numbered. You got an Andre the Giant on the Panini Golden Age. A JC Jane on the Contenders. Indy Hartwell. Kevin Owens. And Katana Chance. Our favorite Ninja Warrior. I don't know why they it didn't change this. She had some, like, fame from the Ninja Warrior stuff. I don't know why they ever changed back to that. Okay. Now the one more pack here. Well, this is not the last pack. There's one more after this, but two packs to go. You got Shinsuke, Candice LeRae, Valhalla, Oh, live on the luminance. I, I like the luminance cards the best of, of all these. Um, they just all have good pictures associated with them. Um, you know what? We'll put Liv up there. She's doing great work. Let's be nice. I also like that print as well. You got Brett on the classics. Trish Stratus on the Panini Honors. And Tori Wilson. And another numbered card. Tori Wilson out of 199 on the certified. Very, very cool. I was more of a Stacy Keebler man myself, but I always appreciated Tori. Okay, last pack here. And by thing, there should be, in theory, a numbered card. Um, there should be a numbered card. Um, okay, so you got the Rhea Ripley on the certified. That's cool. It's a nice, like, silver or shiny prism to it put Rhea there B Fab on the rookie card Tony D'Angelo on Chronicles Voices of the Ring Kayla Braxton Wendy Richter oh and there's the other there is three so everyone does have three numbered cards from based on the videos I watched and this uh, Zia Lee Numbered out of 349, 165 of 349, and a GG Dolan on the Origins. Okay, cool. Not bad. Not too bad. We got some numbered cards out of there. We got some pretty cool cards. Um, so no real complaints there. I like the people we got numbers off of. Obviously, you know, some of the other ones, um, you know, I wouldn't have minded seeing some of the, you know, bigger names with numbers, uh, things like that. Um, but, you know, even like the live on the, you know, Illuminations or illu Illusions. I might keep on Illuminations. Illusions uh, would have been cool, but um, we did get live on the Luminance. Not too many Luminance on this particular one. I've seen quite a few more out of other openings, but did get some classics, some Ravishing Rick Rude, Charlotte Flair on the XR, and that's a cool one there. Um... Oh, that's a Luminance and Dirty Dom, Razor, um, just like some of the, um, yeah, this is Alba Fires on the Limited, Panini Golden Age, um, yeah, very cool. I like the, I'll be honest, I like Chronicles as far as this is concerned, a Blaster Box, uh, fun little open.
So I like that. Um, but that'll wrap it up for Chronicles WWE. Uh, I just got one blaster. Um, thought it was pretty cool. Like I said, no autos, unfortunately, but did get some nice stuff out of there. But that'll wrap it up for the Panini Chronicles WWE. Uh, is it 2023? I was just curious what year it was. 2023 Panini Chronicles WWE. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to like, share, subscribe. You like support me on Patreon, like John Bailey, like Brett Persing, like Fan, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, hey Tom, what's your t-shirt? You can do so. It's Red Shirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collector Association. Links are in the description below. When it comes to the next card pack or the next video in general we will see you soon but until then bye everyone